Welcome, everybody. Peace be upon you all. The first thing I'm going to say that everything that every one of us says here today, these are not our words. They do not belong to us. Why would we share words if they belong to us? We speak for every single person who's been oppressed, every person who has been oppressed by a tyrant. Allah Akbar, you know, peace, come on. This right here, what I'm about to read you now, this, this is a letter to Bashar al-Assad, all right? So give me your audience reaction, you know what I mean? Don't be quiet. We are not here to be quiet. Come on. I am the revolution. Bullet wounds tattooed on my skin. Blood is my ink, but this paper is wearing thin because I am a martyr wearing a peaceful grin. I am the flag of freedom and I wave in the dusty wind. A shop is before me. Our blood is red. Our hearts are white and our land was green. So now our black bruises are blinding. These are the people who want the collapse of the system. Your political, your political agenda will be able to resist them with a peace sign in one hand and a rock in the other. Bashar al-Assad, we will always die the same because in flesh we are brothers. So bring forth your tanks. I will meet them nose to nose. My dead body will only fertilize the Damascus Rose because I am the mother's prayer against the oppressor. I am the national anthem before the dictator. I am the song of freedom in the clinking of chains. I am the people's revolutionary campaign. I am the Allahu Akbar that sits in the hope for change. And I am the final rain of bullets that will end this game. Because I am the political cartoon that results in broken bones. Bashar al-Assad, I can't hear you boast. What happened to your tongue? Did you realize that you can't shoot a revolution? You've got rows of men, but I've got rows of pen, and I write this in permanent ink. By God, this will end. I now eat bullets because you starved me. And I promise, I promise that you will always be hungrier than me. Your nation has already fallen. Can't you see that a country is not built on tyranny? And you're not scaring me because the oppressors of history already laid out your destiny for me. Hitler, Gaddafi, Stalin, Mussolini, and most importantly, and most, most importantly, your father taught me that Bashar al-Assad, one day, you are going to die and the world will be watching. Yeah.